Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome to another day of Planmas. And today we are going to be decluttering and organizing my Color of the Week doodles from Scribble Prince Co. This is how I currently have them. I kind of got the idea from Andrea herself. Um, I had this B6, this is a B6 planner, which you can obviously get also from, um, I've got also B6 from print pression as well um, I think Oristel still has B6s surely but this one I got um, part of a, like a Halloween box from Honey Bee Shop so I just had it in my um, had it in my closet my planner closet of shame <laughs> maybe we'll go through that someday together but um yeah so I had this lying around and I really needed a way to better organize my colors of the week. How did I have them before? I think maybe I had them in one of these and it just wasn't working out or I had them in a smaller planner, but um, I'll show you what, I'll just get into what um, Andrea and I both do. She actually solders hers through the middle. So she makes two pockets, but these are just the sticker pocket, um, sticker organizing pockets from print pression and they've perfectly fit a sticker kit but also two lots of these colored doodles um, as you can see I have a lot now I don't know if I need all of them anymore especially when we have a whole bunch of different colors I also have all these scribblers but I don't find myself actually pulling scribblers um, they're cute but I feel like they're just a touch too big for what I mostly use I think I don't really like them in fancy labels, so I don't know. I still like them though, but I have the summer and the fall colorways here, but they're kind of getting like mushed in these pockets. So we definitely need to do some organizing here. And the sheets are a little bit bigger than the doodle sheets for them, so they kind of don't fit well in this method either. So I think I would take them out. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Basically, I've been putting these in just as they came. So these like, this is color three <laughs> at the front. And at the back here, I've got color, what? Oh, that's the name of the thing. So this is color 90, this blue. And I think this is like the second color, this red. She didn't um, label them at this point, what numbers they were. Um, but these were like, so they have less pages. I feel like, um, and I, Maybe, oh, I've got an empty one here. Maybe I'll message Andrea after this and say she should start re-releasing some of these old colors, like the first and like the first 10 colors she should re-release with all the new pages, because that would be really awesome. Because um, I know she was like running out of ideas. So I might message her after this. Of course, she's not, you know, she's not gonna watch this video for uh, like a month now, but I'll message her after this in November, because that's when I'm filming this. And we'll see if maybe she should re do a re-release of these early colors. That would be really cool because we only got um, six pages here. Yeah, six pages for the first lot. And now she has like 12 or something. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be really cool to have a re-release. Because I feel like I've used a lot of these. I feel like I pull a lot to this red. My problem is, like if I get rid of a color, like, what if I want it again? But then again, these have so few left on it. Um, well, this still has like my payday sticker on it, so I might keep, hmm. okay. This is gonna be difficult, you guys, to try and organize this, but there's just so many of them. I don't know how else to like do this unless I get multiple, um, of these, like multiple B6 binders, but then also, I'll look in one and I won't bother to look in another because I know myself. All right, this is black. And um, I got a, a f bit of black in here. Actually, this is like a gray and then this is a black. But I got a fair bit of gray, a black in here so we might consolidate those. And maybe you wanna put them into like color organization so we can see what we have maybe. Maybe I'll like zoom out here. I've got a purple. Maybe if I do it this way, so you don't overlap them. A red. I got pink. 
Um, and then we go like the darker and the lighter colors too. It's a lighter purple. Let's just try and get everything out and see what we got. <laughs> I've used a lot of this green recently, like for like um, Lord of the Rings spreads and whatnot. We got a nice neutral here. Some of these I know I've never used. That's a pink. I don't think I've ever used this mustard color even. Oh, no, I have used this color. What? Okay, we'll put that to the side. All right, let's get some more pink here. Get some light gray. We've got two light grays here. They're very similar light grays, so you could probably consolidate those. I've used a bit of the, I think I used a lot of, some of these during autumn. Look at this dark green, this olivey green. Oh my gosh. I've got this like bright yellow. Have I used any of this one? I have not. But then summer is coming <laughs> instead of winter. Um, this periwinkle, I guess I'll put it with the purples. Used a bit of this brown. I'll put that there with that color. We got a black sparkly. We got this brown as well. Nice cool toned brown. Put that over here. It kind of goes with this one too, the, like the purple. Uh, it's like a darker purple. We got a, a navy. I've used this a little bit, it looks like at least one or two. Oh boy, it's gonna be difficult. Very difficult. It's a different kind of purple. Um, we got the glittery teal. I guess I'll go with this with the greens. Um, I guess this is a pinky color, although it's kind of neutral. There we go. This is a cool pink. Um, another pink. <laughs> Can never get enough pinks, honestly, because there's a lot of different pinks out there. All right, and here we got some, it's the start of the scribblers. So we'll put her over here. We got this bright yellow. We got rainbow. Then we get some more of the bright, like, um, more summery colors. This, like, pretty orange. I didn't really pull orange in much for Halloween this year. This bright red. I haven't got a lot of red so far. It's interesting to also see what we've got. I mean, I haven't bought all of them, I will say. Um, but I buy a fair amount of these. Another rainbow, but rainbow glitter. I'm truly surrounded by colors and doodles. A nice new, another little neutral. We got a few of those recently. This is another periwinkle, but it's a lot more blue. I think this is the newer cold pink that I got like two lots of because, mm, beautiful. I feel like that's what's really missing from the, um, I think I mentioned it. That was missing from the, the past, like her main colorway and that's actually really useful. It's nice to be able to like put that together. So this is like an orange, orange, orange. And here we got the new black, which I've used a lot of already and I've, I've got two lots of those. We've got a hot pink. Um, then we have this more olivey neutral one. And then this nice bright blue. Okay. So we've emptied her out. Um, the least I have is red. So I think I have to keep the reds. Are we going to do this in like, um, rainbow order? But then when I add new ones, I'll probably just add them to the back. You know what I mean? So we got all the new ones on the top right now. So we're gonna go from old to new. I think that was my problem. I'm kind of looking around what I got here. Um, I don't know how often I'll be pulling these rainbow ones. Except like one spread a year. I don't know. I don't tend to pull for the like, I don't do the, I, I've decided I don't really like the rainbow foil for my taste. So, I don't know. Hmm. I suppose for now we could just do it by color and then um, if I can cut them down then I have extra pages I can move in. But um, we definitely have to keep both of these reds because 
I've only got two reds. I think we can cull some of the early pinks. And then if Andrea does my idea that I'm about to send her later, <laughs> after this video, um, then I can probably replace some of these older ones too. So we have that red there. So we've got red, we'll do pink, because I feel like it's more used than orange in the rainbow for me. This one's new, this one's new. So I definitely want to keep those. So go to the bottom and I think we will de-stash the first one for sure. So these are very different bright pinks, but how much of this have I used? Well, my payday stick is gone, but otherwise there's quite a few still left. This is a really pretty pink though. I feel like pinks are going to be harder to get rid of. Maybe more of these like, you know, like these peachy pinks. Um, her. And these are very similar here. But this one I have two lots of and two pages of. Maybe, oh, maybe what I could do actually is just like get rid of pages. But the thing is that the nice thing about this is that I can pull in something that I don't have a sticker for at all, but I know I have in the selection. I think I'm going to take out these Disney ones because I just never pull for them. Maybe I'll keep these two pinks together because they're very similar, but... Um, okay, let me look for this Disney sheet because I don't think I need these in here. And originally I took them out and separated them. So um, these older ones probably don't have it in there. Um, I've used a fair bit of this one, but I think there's still a lot of usable stickers in it. And because I'm going to get desash this, which they're very similar, um, I think I should keep this one. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's so hard because it's so useful, but I don't know how I want to organize them in a way that isn't chunky as heck. Hmm. Unless I do get another B6 planner, which I don't have on me. Unless I put my lesser used ones into my old organizer, I'm going to go get it. I'll be right back. Alright, this is what I used to use. <laughs> So as you can see, I don't know what size this is, but this was a sticker, um, this is from the same Honey Bee Halloween box, actually. And I used to keep all of my colors of the week in here when they first started coming out. Um, it was pretty perfect. So now I'm wondering if I should put all the old ones in here that have that I've used more and have less pages. Um, so there's sort of a, if nothing matches in here, then I can quickly flip through this. And that separates them a little bit, you know what I mean? I think that'll be good. And like my lesser used pinks as well, like lesser used colors. So I'll probably not use this one as much um, coming forward. So I'm going to put this one in here because I also have this. So maybe that'll work. It's hard to do with pinks, but we could definitely do it with some other ones in here. All right, let's do the hot pinks first. Let's get those babies in. Hot pinks. And then we'll do... The only thing is you have to be very careful in turning these, but I do anyway. And then we'll put our um, cool pinks in together. And then these, like, these are similar shades of pink, actually. Like, verging on more warm, um, peachy pinks. All right. Then we'll go into the oranges. I feel like with um, autumn out of the way, we could probably put these in here. So these darker oranges as well. We'll just put them in here. So then we just have the two um, brighter oranges to use through the spring and summer. 
and winter. Uh, I feel like in winter you tend to use not these kind of colors anyway. Um, I guess maybe I should have put gray at the front when you think about it because gray is pretty universal. I suppose gray and rainbow can go at the front. So let's redo that. I just moved these pages around which is the nice thing about it. So let's put these two grays down here. I'll, I'll keep both grays going because, you know, they're gray. They're, they're neutral. And there's a gray on the um, multicolor, but there's only one, so per sheet. And then we'll put the rainbows in here, you know, just in case. Sometimes rainbows work, especially with the upcoming months. We got the red and we got the pinks. We definitely need these cooler pinks, I think, for winter as well. We got some bright oranges. So yellow wise, again, uh, I think I might only keep the bright yellow in here for now. And these sort of more uh, mustardy yellows can go into, can go into the, the back lot. All right. So they do fit pretty well in here. So it was nice to use it, and it actually like curves pretty big, so that's always nice. So we'll just put the one yellow, so what can we, so after yellow, it's green, right? <laughs> what is the color, we've only got, do I only have two green, uh, we have the dark olivey green. I feel like olive green could be used in winter though, so I might keep that there. I guess I just haven't been picking up greens, you know what I mean? I, I'm sure there's been other greens, but we'll see. We'll just keep all the greens in here because they've been, um, you never know, there might be a dark olive green in a winter set. It happens. Or a Christmas set, I don't think of Christmas too. All right, so I'll just keep all those greens in there because I don't have many. Sorry, I'm a little stuffy. Oh yeah, I was gonna go through and take the Disney stuff out, wasn't I? I might do that after the video is done. Um, like when I go back through it. So this is a new one. So I definitely wanna keep that in here and it'll be good for the upcoming season. I think the blues and purples are gonna have to go in because um, the upcoming seasons. We'll remember to take these ones out. These are all much, much newer. Um, I haven't pulled for this one at all yet, but that is a really pretty blue. We'll see how that goes. The blues are also very specific though. I feel like it's one of those colors that is the most specific in terms of use. Um, but we'll keep the blues in here, blues and purples, because except maybe this navy. Oh no, this navy is actually pretty big. I, Thought that maybe it was an earlier one, but it has like 10 pages, so we'll keep the navy. See if we have any more Disney stuff. I always get the Disney page because it's just easy. Just I want literally all the other pages, so I'm just going to buy the bundle. And I'm not going to worry about um, having to get just take out one page. All right. Now I'll do the purples. So these are the like newer purples, so I might as well just put them in. They'll have Disney as well though. There we go. Gonna do this stuff. So it's also, we get very difficult sometimes. <laughs> Trying to organize like stickers when they become really, really full. Especially when they're like, they're so usable like this. Like I really don't want to get rid of any of my colors. And I want more colors, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've heard me say I know what I know, know what I mean a lot during this video. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I think we'll need the purples coming up. I guess this could have gone in the front because it's more closer to the blues, but that's okay. 
it's just nice to like sit down and like I've done a sp I put down my base and now I'm like okay what stick is am I gonna use with this and I just flip through this little baby and um, here they all are and I feel like it's so easy to see all of them I haven't actually used much of this one even though it's an earlier purple because I still got the payday stickers you can see so I always use this jar of money as <laughs> for payday it's just my favorite payday sticker um, so if it's still on here in the bundle, then I haven't really used it much. You know, that's basically how I go by. Hmm. I feel like these could be useful in winter. But then I feel like I'm putting a lot of the next ones in because there's neutrals and blacks. And then I basically still have the same amount in here. You know what? You know? Um... I don't know, maybe I should take some out, some more out. Just the purples it's hard to do and the blues of the upcoming season. Because those are always in winter. Maybe we can get rid of this, um, well not get rid of, but put away this darker green because it is super dark and it's a lot more warm toned. Which means we could probably move some of this about here. We'll add this. And I definitely need to keep an eye out on greens in the future because that's definitely what I am lacking. How about we take this one and move her up here because she's verging on purple, uh, verging on blue, but also purple. And then we can move this baby here. Yeah. I know they're also useful. <laughs> they're so pretty. But I feel like I could possibly use both of these colors in winter. So I want to put them in. No, okay. They're going to be less less use so let's just put them back in here i am going to keep this like out it's not going to be put away away so i know i'm definitely using this um this color was actually taken from mary and new which is um, audrey and i's um exclusive for christmas new year's eve week so i'm definitely using this that week so i'm going to keep this in here for now um I think I might actually put it at the back because I'm going to use it for this week and then I'm probably going to put it in here because I won't use this color as much, I don't think, outside of that. So we'll put this here because it has an actual purpose and then it will be put into the um, archives, I guess, as you call it. But I think I want to keep all the neutrals in here because, I don't know, they're neutrals. The neutrals so we got like a lighter and a darker and a creamier one granted they could probably have gone to the front with the grays but that's okay all right now the thing is i have a lot of black um this is more of a charcoal black whereas this is like a black black there's a lot of black, you know what I mean? <laughs> Again, I keep saying it, my gosh. I apologize. I've had two sets of the this one in here, but it's a small set of um, these. Yeah. I feel like they don't really change from, ex from each other except um, the one is sparkly. So I might just, hmm. I'm looking for the uh, Disney page though, because I'm pretty sure I didn't take it out of this one. It's not like the things on the Disney page aren't useful. Uh, you could use them anytime, but I just don't. So there's no point having it in the pile when I'm trying to get to other stuff. You know what I? You know? You know what I mean? Oh gosh! It's always those sayings you just like suddenly hold on to all of a sudden. Suddenly, all of a sudden, I'm a mess today, but 
I thought we might like a long chatty organizing video. I always like to watch those, have those on the background when I'm doing things. So let me know in the comments what you're doing while watching this. Or are you just straight up watching this madness? <laughs> um, all right, I don't think I have any more Disney shoots in here. The sparkly one is fun. Disney sheet, are you in here? I know you're hiding. There you are. <laughs> hmm. Let's put the new one at the front. It's probably what I'll pull from the most. This is the newest lot of sheets and I got two sets in there. And then the rest, I think these two will just go in the same pile because they're pretty much the same. And then, um, the black in here. All right. So I think that's a little bit less unruly. You see them. I got plenty of new, new pages at the back. So got these. Um, so I'll probably keep those in there. So it feels less chubtastic. <laughs> So I think that's worked out. And then maybe what we'll do with the scribblers is we got this whole pile of them. So I don't know. Do I want to put them in here or no? In the, um, in the archive. Or maybe I could just put them in one of my um, accordion things like MISC because they are MISC. And I could always have a look through them. I think that's how Andre keeps them. She just keeps them like this and finds a matching color. So I'm gonna put those in misc. So I still wanna keep them. Um, but I think that's what I got going for now. We got kind of like a archive or like maybe a seasonal thing. So once all of these blues, I think blues and purple, I think mostly what I've got in here are things that are really more seasonal. And most of the stuff in here is pretty like, you know, you could use it any time of the year. So we've got grays. We got rainbows. So this is how I usually go through it. I keep my hand here and I pull it here and I just flip just so then they don't come out. But if you solder these into two, it should be a much tighter fit and they won't flop about everywhere. But um, I don't have one of those and I'm fine with that. <laughs> we got our two reds here. What I'm really lacking is red. So I gotta keep an eye out for red. Um, then we got some hot pinks. We got some cool pinks. We got some warmer pinks. We got some oranges. We got a bright, bright yellow, and I feel like yellow goes with a lot as it is. And then um, we got a light green and a teal sparkly. I gotta keep an eye out for greens as well. Um, we got blue, light blue, like a nice blue, and then we got a periwinkle and a more like straight up blue. Another very bright blue plus the like navy glitter. Then the periwinkle, like soft blue, purple, and navy. And then we've got, um, sorry, if I, I guess I could have been more zoomed in. I apologize. <laughs> and then we've got this sort of like a medium cool purple and the magenta. We've got a, light, a lilac and um, a darker version of that kind of purple. Then we've got some neutrals in different shades. Now this is like a cooler shade and these are warmer. Then we got the, the my first black, next black, and then black glittery. And then at the back, I just have one that I definitely have a week that I'm using it for. So that will be really useful. And then in the archive, as I'll call it, uh, we have like some of the original, like the OG pink. We got a peachy pink. We have like a, a rusty brown, a brownie brown. Uh, a mustard, a mustard yellow, and we got the dark um, green as well as the sort of um, the, the mauve kind of color and the dark brown, cool brown. So I think that's what we've got and I'm just going to put those in the Disney section just in case. But that is um, a sort of declutter and reorganization of my colors of the week and how I organize those. Um, it has gotten harder when there's like more and more and more, but I think having like a core amount of the rainbow on hand 
and then thinking about it seasonally as well and what you think you'll be using in the upcoming seasons is a good way to also like separate them out. Um, I do the same thing with my food stickers. Like I have my like, I'll definitely be, these are the food stickers I reach for the most in this little album that's right in front of me. And then I put my overflow as I call it um, in my accordion files. So this is kind of like a color of the week overflow that I just won't be reaching for, I know, every time. But these are definitely colors I will be reaching for at the moment. And I can I can reorganize it seasonally if I want as well. Or like if I really have um, mined the depths of a color, then I can just probably um, purge it because... Um, but then again, it has a lot of stickers I would never buy a whole thing of, so we'll see. But I find them really useful. I love the Colors of the Week from Scribble Prints Co. It's such a good selection of um, first colors, but also of actual label, like actual doodles. Like it has like all the cleaning stuff. Because um, first of all, I try to use the matching doodles from kids if I have them. Uh, but that, that, that page doesn't currently have like any cleaning or anything on it. So these are really useful for that. Especially, I feel like during the autumn and uh, autumn months, especially in Halloween, because um, she also has like her multicolor sheets, which I also love. But those colors don't really work with those those seasons. Um, but I think now as we're coming into Christmas and Hall and uh, winter, it'll be easier just to use the normal multicolor. But always good to have organization worked out. But I'm gonna stop blabbing. Um, <laughs> um, I'm probably all done now, but, um, and you know, doing my little spiel for SPC, but these are the ones I do love using, and I do find myself using them every week. So it's nice to have them organized. And if you haven't tried them out, then you can have, have had a look at them here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna message her right after this and ask about maybe re-releasing OG colors or something, or yeah, that'd be really fun. Um, and then she released those scribbles, scribblers in those colors and so maybe she can go back to like the rainbows, but we'll see. Cause um, it's always nice to have ideas and I, Andre is always open to be messaged about ideas and me too, you know, for art stuff, but I'm gonna stop blabbing now. Um, this is like my final video filming today. So I should, I should stop and go to edit these videos <laughs> and, um, and I'll let you go and let you do your stuff. But yeah, let me know what you were doing while watching this and listening to me organize. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it is Plymouth and there's a new video all the way through the 25th. Um, so yeah, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.